In May, Nikki and Elle, two young people from Azerbaijan, took their singing careers to the top, and Azerbaijan rode right along with them. The winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2011 is Azerbaijan. Six months later, Nikki is recording in London while Elle is back in Baku, still excited. The yeah. two of you on stage it was magic. That's why you won. Yes. We just, um, people believed uh, in our relationship, you know, people believed in the real love. I think because um, we won, because uh, that evening, uh, this day, 14th of May, uh, people needed that song. If they didn't need it, they surely wanted it. The victory was celebrated and then some in the streets of Baku. Azerbaijan's star was rising. An estimated 125 million viewers were gazing intently toward this small nation on the Caspian Sea. For Azerbaijan, it means the honor and the spotlight of hosting next year's Eurovision Song Contest. Really, it's a big success. In terms of introducing Azerbaijan, its rich culture, history, its music uh, to the Europe and to the rest of the world. Organizers are ready to begin construction of a new Baku Crystal Hall that could seat 25,000 spectators. Key, they say, enthusiastic public support. The mayor of Baku's old city sees this as a chance to show the many facets of Azerbaijan to the world. My hope is that they will take away the impression that it's not any single thing that Azerbaijan can be proud of. Uh, that it's a, a combination of uh, the way people think, uh, it's a combination of our history, architecture, uh, um, um, cultural diversity. What kind of song will Azerbaijan enter in 2012? El hopes it bridges his country's traditions and the wider world. And that's why we want to bring something new in the fresh air. I mean the uh, pop, European pop music, just to uh, make it a little bit um, near to uh, Europe, to, to the West. Unlike some here, El doesn't think a traditional presentation of Azerbaijani folk music is a good fit for the Eurovision contest. Well, things. just bring a little bit of Europe to Azerbaijan yeah. as you bring a little bit of Azerbaijan to Europe. To Europe. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Is that about it? Yeah. I'm waiting for you guys. Welcome to Azerbaijan. The rest of the country is waiting for you, too. Jim Clancy, CNN, Baku.